Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Eric Schomer. Today, we're going to create the Pineapple Bomber. It's bomber recipe. This is a submission from Stefan, who's a long-time submitter, long-time writer, caller. He's cool. Um, the Pineapple Bomber is going to have pineapple juice. Duh. It's going to have some Captain Morgans. We're using private stock. You could use your favorite. Uh, there was a comment that was left to me a couple weeks ago saying that this isn't spice because it doesn't say spice. But um, then somebody else wrote and said, yeah, it does. And so I just wanted to make sure. So this is Captain Morgan's private stock, the finest Puerto Rican rum with with spice and other natural flavors. I don't know if the spice is a natural flavor, but there's other ones in here too. So you've got spice. It, it doesn't, it's just not pronounced. It doesn't say like spiced rum, like spice silver and spice gold and all the others. But apparently it's spicy and that's what I'm going to be using. But you can use whatever you have that's got Captain Morgan on it. We're also using Southern Comfort. We're going back to the SoCo 100 proof and a little bit of De Serono. We're going to do an ounce of spiced or ounce of Captain Morgan, an ounce of Southern Comfort, and you can use the 75% or the 100 proof. I think it's 75. I don't really know. And a half ounce of Amaretto, three ounces of pineapple. you got to have more pineapple than everything else because if you didn't, it wouldn't be a pineapple bomber. It would be an everything else bomber, and that name blows. So let's get started here. Uh, we're going to mix in a cocktail shaker, and then we're going to strain it into a cocktail glass. Let's do it up. That should be good. Now it's good. Before that, it wasn't any good. And we're gonna do, let's start with Captain Morgan. Do our ounce. Whoa, there we go. do our Di Serono half ounce. It's not very ergonomic. Don't think they care. They don't care. They Alcohols go for the fanciness. What draws it the consumer cool. in? If it looks cool. I'm telling you, I buy things that look cool. There's got to be something around here I bought that looks cool. And that, duh. This? No. The Di Serono looks cool. Yeah, but I, I got Di Serono because that's just what you get. You get Di Serono Amaretto. Anything else is just uncivilized. Actually, we have another Amaretto around here. I, yeah, I think the problem with that one is it's kind of old and the top gets sealed on from like because it's kind of sticky and I can't get it off. So I just bought another one. It's in a weird bottle. I can't remember the name of it. It's a rounder bottle. Yeah. Somebody knows what that is. Let me know. You know what I did last night? I forgot to mention this because I don't know why I would have. Somebody sent me a photo and they said, what is this? And it was just some dude holding this like champagne bottle and I Googled it and I figured out what it was. It was a spe specific champagne sent it to him. They're like, holy crap, how'd you do that? It was pretty funny. Just. <laughs> Thanks. Story. <laughs> well, you know how hard it is to take a label that you've never seen before? I'm like, Chrome. It was like this crease. I'm like, oh, it's a like a pop star photo. I'm like, well, they're going to drink like Dom Perignon or something like that. And it wasn't that one. I know that one because we have one of those. And I figured it out. I was so proud of myself. You know how to Google. I cherish Yay. these moments. Google images. There's You can't Google words. It's a picture. Yeah. That's cool. You're still Googling. It's cool. You're that. Everybody knows it's cool. <laughs> I think I just saw something fly across. It might have been a the seal might have broke. Throw that here. Put some ice in our Collins glass. There we go. Whoa. The heck? Looks like a banana. Yeah, that was... Like you literally just blended a banana. That's a pineapple bomber. Looks like a banana. <sighs> Smells like pineapple and amaretto. A little sweetness. It's got that nice foam. Mmm, this is lovely. It's warm. I can't take any more good drinks. <laughs> <laughs> It's got a little potency to it. <laughs> you having a little problem there? 
<laughs> the problem is sometimes when you you get the Fridays, you've made all these drinks, you've got to try them. And if we have a week where they're very sweet drinks, they go down really easy and you've got a lot of them. Now that goes. This is creamy, but there's no cream. It tastes like... Mm. Pineapple juice definitely has a nice texture to it. I don't know. It doesn't taste like any one of these. It's like its own new alcohol. There must... I can... It's a little hint of amaretto. Southern Comfort. I don't know. The spiced rum and the Southern Comfort. They're just like... They just become one. It's it's like Shazam. With the two rings. I don't know. It's just like really... It's good. I like it. It's almost warmly... It's, it's like a... Um, like a home cooked meal cocktail, where you, you probably won't see this out. It's not classy in the the bitter or um, potency or just clarity, and it's not super super sweet like a like the type of cocktails like a, a big cool cocktail like a, maybe a I don't even think of anything a surf rider or something like that. It's just got a very nice warm inviting taste to it. So and it's hard to explain. It's a little nut, little little. A little of everything. It's just its own entity. Um, so there you go. That is the Pineapple Bomber. I highly suggest that because it is unique and, and very tasty. Um, and I wanted to read a comment today. Cannot connect to IQ store. It says that every single time. Um, oh, there we go. So, Corvallis Joe, who um, is also a listener of our gaming podcast at gamingpodcast.net. Cross promotion. Um, Corvallis Joe wrote... Thanks. Just what I was looking for. Drink ideas with how to and commentary. No fluff and to the point. Keep up the good work. I don't know if we're always to the point. There's sometimes there's fluff. But thank you for the comments. And I hope everybody was inspired to write comments. You can just let me know what you think and we'll read it on the show. And hopefully they just keep rolling in and we could just every day do a new comment. I think that would be kind of fun. So I'm your host, Derek Schomer. Check us out on everydaydrinkers.tv. And don't forget, we've recently launched Alcoholics by Volume. If you've been trying to figure out, what's that lady behind the camera look like? She's a, uh, one of the co-hosts of Alcoholics by Volume at alcoholicsbyvolume.com. So check that out. I'm your host, Derek Schomer, and we're teaching you how to drink. It's a tasty beverage.